Good afternoon. Great to see everybody here at practice. I thought we got a, a lot of really good work in, and, and now we got a little under 72 hours here to make sure that uh, the players are getting their bodies as, as well as they can feel this time of year uh, to be ready to be one up. Questions? Oh, do you have a sense of the, the mood of the team as they're anticipating? You've had some tough losses recently. Do you see a sense that they're eager for this opportunity? It's an excited group. Yeah, it really is. And uh, it's, I think it's energizing for, for the entire program to be out here and, and watch the way these players have gone through practice, and, and not just the young players, the older players. Uh, I think they, uh, that everybody in the organization, I think, realizes that the, the only thing that's going to get us ultimately feeling the way we want to feel is to be 1-0. and So we've got a tremendous challenge going on the road in conference this week to do that, but, but we're looking forward to it. Kyle, you uh, mentioned Andre Patton last time we were in here a couple days ago. He's made a start, he's made a catch, he scored a special team touchdown. Is he ready to uh, make an impact these last two games? I don't know if you could ever force that, but, but I think he is, he's preparing to be ready. So the way he's preparing tells me that given the opportunity in the game that, that he will make an impact. And I think that's, that's what happened on special teams, even though it was recovering a ball in the end zone. And, and that, that might seem like a simple thing, but I think every year, if you, if you look at the, the highlights or the bloopers at the end of the year, you'll see some people who kick it out of the back of the end zone. So it takes a certain degree of composure to get that done. But I know whether or not he has a big game this week or next week, I don't know if that'll be the case. But I know this, he's preparing really well right now. So given the opportunity, it will not surprise me if he has success. Kyle, what have you seen from Chase just in terms of decisions, accuracy, stuff like that? I think he's getting better as the week goes on. And that's the advantage, I think, of being the starter and getting the starter's reps. As he's gone through the week, you know, being able to time things up with more reps than he would normally get in a normal practice week in the past. I think he's done a good job. So I'm pleased with the way he's working. Uh, I'm pleased with the way Gary's working. And so, but uh, but this week will be Chase's opportunity. Kyle, you need to see the past five games have fallen behind by double digits in the first half. Is that something you've, you've emphasized? Are you going to change things up just in general terms to, to try and get away from that, A? And then, B, has that kind of forced you to abandon the running game sooner than you may have liked? I think when you get down like that, it, it, it puts you in a position to to not run the ball as much as we want to run it, that's for sure. I don't harp on any of those games because they will not have an effect on how we start this game. You know, we're playing a different team with different players, so we have to make sure that what we're practicing this week, we execute it well early in the game, and that's really where our focus is. Our focus is on executing early in the game because that ultimately will lead to what happens later in the game. Have you had to make any accommodations in practice to allow you to play both ways? It's, uh, it's, we've actually practiced two different ways this year. At times we've been more of a pro service type team where you'll see the offensive players running plays for the defense, et cetera. And then at other times we've been more scout team oriented. Uh, this week, I think regardless of whether or not Ruhan played both ways, we would probably have been in pro service mode just because we're, we're down some bodies at this point. It's tough to field an entire uh, scout team. But being in pro service mode right now does lend itself more easily to a player playing both ways. Kyle, when you look, I know you weren't the head coach then, but when you look back at 2011 and Chase came in and you guys, he replaced Gary that middle of the South Florida game. You guys won that game and went three and one down the stretch. How much of that strong finish was Chase giving you guys a spark off the bench? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at it. I have not gone back to, to look at those types of things. It was so far removed from it. I, I think uh, you know, whether or not change will be good for us will depend on how well we play on Saturday. You know, that's a, uh, if we play well Saturday, people will think the change was good, and if we don't, you know, people won't. You know, so uh, I think the reason we made the decision this week is because we feel Chase gives us the best chance to be 1-0 this week, and that's really the, the only reason. It had nothing to do with a, a bigger picture from, from last year or the year before. Kyle, based on the pass rush Darius kind of generated on the first two downs, could he get into a bigger role where he's playing more on third downs? Are you kind of happy with where he's at? I, I think get, Darius is playing a lot of snaps on first and second down, and um, you, could he play a bigger role on third down? He could. But I, I think right now it's probably in our best interest to, to keep him on first and second down because he's really, really valuable to us on first and second down. And we've been fortunate to have you – know, you've got two guys at that R position in Marcus and Quanzel that we get to play them together on third down. Um, I'm not saying it won't happen, but I think right now it's it, – for Darius, it, if we can get everything we're getting at him on first and second down, I think we'll be better on defense. How's Gary looking in practice this week, you know, on the field and then also in the meeting rooms and stuff as a captain? Yeah, Gary's been great in the meeting rooms. He's been great around the facility. You know, none of those things uh, have, have been a negative in any way. Gary's a competitor. Gary wants to be the starter, as I'm sure every team, every player on the team wants to be the starter. And I think he's done a good job in practice. Now, he's getting less reps than he normally would get. That's the nature of being the second quarterback, not the first. But I see him taking advantage of every rep, whether it's individual or seven-on-seven seven or, or the team periods. That's time for two more. Well, you haven't started the same 
starters in, on defense for two straight games once this year. How much that, has that impacted? I mean, some of it's been personnel decisions. A lot of it's been injuries. But what have the effectiveness of this defense? I think what you're saying is uh, is probably indicative of, of two things. One, at times you're not getting the play that you'd like to get at a certain position. So that's that's an indicator that you're not you're not happy. And the other would be injuries. And then you got to play a player who wasn't first team. And starters are starters for a reason. So. You know, I think we can play better on defense. I think the more consistency in not just the players who play, but the roles that they have will also help us play better defense. Hopefully a guy like Bruhan now, I think in his third game on defense, will uh, will be a better player. And he should be getting better. And guys like Anthony Chaffee and Nadir Barnwell, they should be better players. And, and we don't have, uh, we'll see if Delon's available to this week. He hasn't been able to practice yet. So I don't know if he'll be available. But. Certainly, the more consistency you have at each position, the better chance it gives you to improve every week. Uh, how do you kind of go about keeping like a, a normal type schedule with the holiday and that kind of a interruption in the week? It's um, it's a little bit different for us. Today we were a little bit later than we normally would be because the class schedules did not conflict with what we were doing from a practice standpoint. And I think the fact that we practice in the morning it helps us a little bit on Thanksgiving Day. I've been in other programs where we would practice in the afternoon, but on Thanksgiving Day, you'd practice in the morning to give the, the local guys a chance to go home. So we might be a, an hour later than we normally would be tomorrow, but, but other than that, it won't be much of an interruption for us. Thanks, Thanks Thank you.